Well, I'm shooting this video for my Canon PowerShot A470. What we're looking at is my Sony camera. This is the camera that I film all my videos with. Um, unfortunately, I dropped it. Uh, actually, it fell off the end of the couch. <laughs> no visible damage, um, but this shutter thing doesn't close right. And I took the cover off and I found out why. It's like it's misaligned. So I'm going to just disassemble it and reassemble it and get everything all lined up again. The camera suffered no other damage. In fact, I've been using it ever since. But I took the hard drive out, and I hadn't really seen one of these before. I've never really taken apart any MP3 players, or at least hard drive-based. But this is the hard drive that's in that thing. It's tiny. Um, it's probably a single disc, obviously. It's an 80 gig drive. But look at how thin it is. This is a Toshiba product, and there's the model number. It uses a, uh, a ribbon cable interface, so it must be some variant of a um, of the uh, of a SATA drive. And uh, yeah, look at that thing; it's tiny. I'll just gently set that over there. So I think I know what I'm going to have to do, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I paid a lot of money for this camera, and I want to get a few more years out of it, so let's try to get that fixed. When you have the camera apart, it really becomes apparent that there's not a whole lot there. <laughs> um, this is pretty much it. I mean, the biggest component in this entire camera is basically the lens assembly with the CMOS sensor on the back, or whatever the hell they're using. Um, here's the lens. It's not really a lens body. This is actually the, um, the lens mount, if you were adding a lens to it. But it also serves as the sh um, dust cover. Now, what's happening is when this is assembled, the cover doesn't fully close. And in examining this for any physical damage, I see one thing that, that seems to be causing this. This camera sucks, so you can't really see it. But there's a slight crease in the metal here. Obviously, this is where it was hit. It actually must have fallen right onto the lens. I didn't see it fall. I just heard it, and then I ran down. I'm like, oh, no. Anyway, there is a small crack right here more than likely this is where it was hit. So what I've got to do, since I obviously can't replace this part, um, I'm sure I can't, I'm going to have to uncrease that metal somehow. Which will be hard because it's actually uh, basically welds, plastic welded over onto, alright, it's mounted on these four posts that are melted over so it can't be removed. But I can get to it from the other side, I think. So let me see what I can work out. Okay, I was able to bend it up just slightly. Now how this works is quite simple. Um, the open-close lever is attached, or it's part of a ring that goes around the lens. Now when you, ro when you hit the lever, it actually turns the ring, which engages the, um, the shutter or dust cover flaps lens cap flaps, like that. So this ring is rotating behind this metal cover, and when the metal cover is, um, is damaged, it actually rubs against the plastic ring, and that's what the, that was, that's what the problem was. What happened was, when the camera fell, the actual lens body itself had been rammed, bam, into this metal cover, which caused the crease. Luckily, there was no real body damage done to the camera. I see a slightly bent tab here, which I'm going to straighten out. And um, other than that, she pretty much escaped unscathed. And this tiny little crack here won't really cause any problems down the road, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I think that'll be just fine. It's not even structural or anything, so... It's more cosmetic than anything else. So I'm going to just whip it back together again, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to cord with this thing again. Ooh. Now, let me uh, clarify that the camera did, in fact, work, but it was just annoying how the, the little dust cover didn't really work that well. It would only close a little bit, and, uh, you know, that's kind of annoying. 
so. Okay, so now that the front of the camera is reassembled, um, the, uh, the shutter, or whatever you want to call it, um, body is perfectly aligned. Before I disassembled this, it was actually off just a little bit. It was pressed in on this side, and that's... I really wish I had a better camera, but I don't... Anyway, <laughs> it was pushed in a little bit, and uh, this tab was bent in. Unfortunately, this Canon still camera doesn't do close-ups too well in video mode, uh, but it works fine otherwise. So now, we have a fully functioning dust cover. Without any effort, it works exactly as it did when I bought it. About two years ago. Not bad. While we have it apart, I'm going to show you that this cover here, which is the top cover, houses the speaker, which is right there, and the stereo microphone. Okay, there should be two microphones here. And being that there's actually four leads going in there, it tells me that, yes, there are, in fact, two microphones there. Um, so that's where they put them. There's a lot of metal in this camera. I'm a little surprised. I, I figured it would be just a ball of plastic. Um, but this actually has a nice... Uh, appears to be aluminum. I haven't really checked it. Yeah, it, I think it may be aluminum uh, frame, which basically holds everything in line and it has a lot of reinforcement areas that are made from aluminum and the fact that this camera took a pretty good fall onto a hard surface tells me that this camera was built quite well here are the hard drive bumpers they're made from a very soft pliable rubber and uh, that's what the hard drive is encased in um, it's actually not that bad. I mean, I, I, I just figured it would be built like a piece of junk, and it's not. You know, I mean, it really... I'll show you the fall it took, and um, I'm a little... Imp I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. Uh, for a $350 camera, it didn't do too badly. Okay. The camera's now reassembled. Now we should make a, a test video. Everything looks good. That works. Nothing bulging or popping out. Everything is exactly as it should be. All right. One thing I just noticed is that all the chrome paint has worn off of this plastic piece. I find that interesting because I don't think that's where any... I don't think my fingers go there. Why would that have worn off? Oh, right. Oh, I see. That's why. That's, that's exactly where my finger lands. Ah, well, that makes sense. Anyway, that didn't last long. Good little camera, though. Yep. What is this thing? 70x optical zoom or something like that? So, 60x optical. Not bad. That's why I bought the camera. I wanted good optical zoom. And here we are at the scene of the accident. This is where the camera actually fell. And it landed right on the floor. What happened was, I was in the middle of something and I had set the camera on the edge of the couch. And, um... I'm not really sure exactly how this happened, but... She fell. And, uh... Everything seems to be working okay. I can zoom in all the way. It focuses. Where's the froggy? Where is she right now? Oh, there she is. I see her. She's at the surface breathing. Let's go piss her off. Shh. Ah, oh, she heard me coming. There you are, you cutie. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, that's what happened. The camera fell. End of story. Um, everything is working okay. This uh, dust cover is now working properly for once. The yeah, everything seems to be a okay. And this whole thing took me less than twenty minutes to fix. So I figure I did pretty well there. Yeah, 
Burger Bank.